All right, everyone. Uh, welcome back to uh, another one of my uh, tutorials. And uh, in the this will be the second MATLAB uh, tutorial. In the first one, we went over some of the basic uh, uh, ways we we uh, create variables and do calculations. And uh, in this video, we're going to go over one of the things that makes uh, MATLAB so uh, useful. And if you recall, and, and that's really, we're going to uh, create a script and then eventually a function. Um, if we find that, that we're doing a lot, of, a lot of this typing in this window and we're doing the same thing over and over again, one of the things we can do is we can turn that into a script that we can run with a single line and then we can remove all those repetitive tasks. And to do that, you know, we could, we, we, one way to do that is we can go up here, we can click new and create a new script or script or new uh, function. But another way to do it, if we've already uh, captured a lot of the commands in our command window, remember we have the command history over here. So we can go over the command history and actually I've been messing around for a few days here. Well, I guess not a few days, but a little, little while here. And I've been doing a lot since for the last, uh, I, it's all time stamped here since the last video we have done quite a bit here but okay so here's what I did in the first video remember the FM then cow and chicken and all that I what I can do is I can uh, highlight all this oh. and I'll just do that by holding shift and select uh, that uh, let's go a little bit further, a little bit further, I don't want that. And then I can right click on it and I can create script right there. And a new window will open and this is my script. Uh, now I have to save, um, yeah, before I go here, let, let's just do that. I'm gonna, so I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it uh, as a uh, uh, let's call it just uh, AM signal. Okay. Now I can close it. And one thing to keep in mind uh, when you're working in MATLAB, uh, you need to, any file that you're going to call or any script you're going to call, any function, it needs to be in the current working folder and you can change it up here, click this, and you navigate to where that folder is. Um, so far, I've been trying to just keep all of the, my MATLAB files in a single folder so that yeah, I have whatever I need anytime I want it. Um, but getting back to what we were doing here, so to, to run this script, uh, I, can, I can do everything I did in the last tutorial with a single line. And the only thing I have to do to do that is type in the name, hit enter and there everything I just did in the in the first tutorial was done right there in uh, just a few seconds so that's one of the really powerful things that we can do with uh, MATLAB to remove some uh, competitive or uh, repetitive type tasks um, and we can build upon those um, now what if I want to uh, change some of the input variables for this script? Um, what I could do to do that is I can turn it into a function. And the only thing that uh, we really have to do to turn this into a function is in the first line, use the word function. And uh, let's say um, I want to create some, uh, um, oh, let's back up a little bit. Uh, uh, so as a script, you'll see that it created all the, all the same variables over here, right? Uh, remember we had uh, chicken and cow and FC and FM, TV, VC. And remember, if you don't know what all any of this is, uh, go back and watch my first video, and, and I created all these in that. Um, if we do this as a function, uh, these will not get created over here in the workspace unless we uh, unless we tell it to. 
So it's one thing to keep in mind as you go through and do this. Um, but uh, so we're going to create this as a function, and we're going to output. Um, we want to know what uh, v, uh, VM. Did I capitalize that? No. Okay. So I want to know what VM is, and I want to know what uh, VC is, and uh, I want to know what my my T is, and my uh, uh, and my signal there. So th those will be the outputs of this function. And then we hit the equals, and then this next the next part needs to be identical to the name of the file. So am signal, and then in parentheses I put in uh, the variables that I'm going to send to this function. So these are the things that would be inputs that I might want to change every time I use it. And for that I'm going to just use fm and fc and from that I will derive everything else so since uh, I'm going to pass in FM and FC I don't need to I don't need to define them here in fact I, I shouldn't define them here and we're gonna get rid of chicken and cow um, okay so what um, uh, so the next thing I need to do um, is actually um, actually next thing I need to do is put in a comment so the first thing that we need to do when we get FM and FC in is we need to uh, determine the um, modulating uh, signal period okay and that's going to be um, let's call it uh, PM for PM mod modulated and that's going to equal 1 div divided by FM remember because FM is going to be a frequency okay um, and uh, so that's that uh, so the next thing after we have uh, our period of our modulating signal, uh, we're actually going to calculate what the uh, increment is going to be on our time variable. And to do that, we need to kind of do a little bit of thinking of how often we want to sample that signal. And I think that for this, I'm going to want to have a thousand samples for every period of that uh, signal. And so to to do that, I need to have I need to sample at I have the need to have a sample period. So the sample period is going to be one one thousandth of the um, the uh, the PM variable here. So I need to calculate the sample uh, period. And I'm going to I'm going to call it sample period, and it's going to be equal to PM divided by 1,000. Okay. Then I can use that to create uh, my uh, time interval. Okay, and we can keep that uh, our time uh, variable uh, the same. So it's going to be t, and the increment now is going to be what we created as our sample period. Okay, and uh, we want to go two cycles. So I'm going to put in parentheses. This will be two times p.m. So that will give us uh, two full um, two full uh, uh, cycles of our uh, of our modulating signal. And uh, actually, I'm going since we're starting at zero, I'm going to subtract one sample period from this. So we have a, a perfect uh, uh, 
two uh, cycles. All right, so that's my time. Now from here, uh, the rest of this stays relatively the same. Um, and I can comment it out. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Um, but uh, I'm just going to leave it as is for right now. Okay. So, and remember, we need to uh, pass, this, pass in FM and FC when we're done. So I'm going to save this and then exit. All right. So I'm going to, to uh, show you how to run this function. And to do that, we can create a um, our FM variable, and let's call it 1000. And there we go. And then we call our FC, let's call it uh, 20,000, just like we did before. And now we can pass those into this function, and it'll do everything that uh, we did uh, before. And so let's just call something called uh, uh, my signal equals, and then our AM signal, and pass it our FM and FC, and then uh, that'll be it. It'll run, and we'll get our uh, oh, our chart propped up behind. I'll bring it up for you. But there we go. It created that, and now it created this thing over here called my signal. Uh, and that's how we run the functions. There's a lot more to it, um, and honestly, I'm still learning it myself, but uh, that's how you create a function. And uh, so uh, I'm going to sign off now, and uh, we'll have more later. Thanks a lot.